Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. What you see in front of you right now is um, me getting rid of the um, the old Bobmonium mining and processing facility that I had um, up in the north of my base. Because it occurred to me um, that now, now that I've got this major Bobmonium smelt facility down wherever it is, which one is it? This, this one here, um, that's producing all of the tin I could possibly need and all of the silicon I could possibly need as well. So there's not really that much point in me having this little Bobmonium mine up here producing a steady dribble of tin. I'm much better off just churning it all out from here. So what I've done, what I'm doing now, is I'm getting my construction bots to rip up the whole thing and this is going to take forever of course because I've got the slow construction bots but still I'm doing it anyway because I've decided I'm going to um, I'm going to stop doing the um, oh I've pulled too much what I'm <laughs> going to do or not do is I'm going to stop using the old style sorry one, one moment while I um, while I fix one of my mistakes <laughs> there we go right I'm going to stop doing the Bob's greenhouses um, wood wood generation because as as has been pointed out a number of times um, by me in these videos and um, and in general on the internet is that it it, it rather trivializes the um, the whole system ooh that's bad Where's that? Okay, right up there. Have they chewed through some wall and finally got to the... Or were they just turrets there? Anyway, I'll go and have a look at that in a minute. Yeah, so it rather trivialises the whole um, wood creation procedure compared to the way it's supposed to be with the angels' um, bio something or other processing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all this up and that's going to free up a load of space that I can then use for um, for generating my... Uh, for generating wood some a more difficult way, should we say. Now, let's see, it's just occurred to me to wonder whether I've just, yes, I'm going to, having stopped producing tin up here, that's going to mess up down here, so I need to reverse this belt in order to pull the tin from down here, down, down here, up as well as down. Um, I think that's probably a lower priority than going and fixing up the, uh, that, those turrets that are getting attacked though, so let's take, let's take my plasma turrets because they're awesome. I've got lots of the big poles so I can run power to them. Let's also take a stack of normal turrets and a stack of sniper turrets. Let's go and have a look at what's going on up there, shall we? I've quite deliberately left the um, construction machine behind over there. Mostly because I've left it doing something. But also because it would end up just laying out all those turrets as well if I, if I left it if I brought it with me. Okay, so where was trouble happening? I've not brought any repair packs and I can't build any. Okay, I'll just pull up the turrets and replace them with new ones that, that aren't, <laughs> don't come pre-damaged. Did I bring any? No, didn't bring any walls. I've come fairly unprepared for this, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I should have brought more guns, more walls, more just just generally more of everything as usual. Oh well. All right. So if I whack that in there, the metal help quite a lot. Let's pull that up. I'm going to need to replace it with a healthy sniper turret there and there. And you know what? Let's do that and that and that and that way. I can continue to put out better turret, more turrets. More is better, right? We all know that. So I can put a lot more turrets along here, and I can back them up with that plasma turret as well. Let's put the plasma turret a bit further down. You know what I bet I've done? I bet I don't have any uh, burner inserters with me to run these turrets off. No, I don't. I've got the two that I had from taking that apart. Okay, that was a fail. I've only got nine regular inserters. Right. I haven't even got a car with me. What am I playing at? God. Two episodes with a construction vehicle. And I've got so used to having it always there, always with all the stuff I need in it, that I've not even bothered to check what I've got before running off to do a repair mission like this. <sighs> I might as well tell you as well. One of the other things I've done as part of my um, general fixing up and tidying up between episodes thing is I've um, I had, had a rummage around in that big box of doom, the place where the warehouse where I was dumping all the stuff that I, I reckoned I didn't need. And I've moved a lot of those things over into the construction vehicle because it's got it's got as much storage as the warehouse has got, if we're being quite honest here. It's ridiculous. So that will allow me to always have all of this random stuff with me without worrying about needing to run over to the warehouse every so often as my inventory fills up. So essentially, it's, I'm considering it to be a sort of a mobile, inf mobile infantry? No, mobile inventory. So I'd have always got all the stuff I could possibly want. That was everything, wasn't it? I think it was. Was oh, I've lost power here because I pulled up all of the power cables in there. There we go. 
I'm just going to rip that up as well because it's just a waste of water at the moment. Or a waste of waste of electricity, really, because that's all I'm doing. I'm pumping water around and round in circles rather pointlessly. There. And we'll run these up. And this is to power my um, shiny plasma turrets. It's funny, in the last episode, I was saying how little hassle I've had from the biters going up. What's going on here? Like the right distance apart. How, yeah, how quiet it's been and how little hassle I've had from the biters all the way up here. And then immediately I start this episode up, bang, they've attacked something. So <laughs> that tells me that I should keep my mouth closed. Uh, I can't see that happening, but it tells me that I probably should. But then Beth's been telling me that for years. Hasn't done any good. Right. Well, they're not going to get through there in a hurry, I'm pretty sure. But just to make absolutely sure, let's do that. I said, let's do that. There we go. I'll put the wind up on my bit, as they say. And I should finish this wall off as well. So I should try to. Does this even sound like it? It hums a bit, but it doesn't go pachoo pachoo, which is a bit of a disappointment to me. You know, while I'm up here, I could quite easily take that nest out as well. Put that there. Drop that in there. One shot right in the middle of that lot. One more shot right in the middle of that lot. Come on, stop shooting the bite. Stop shooting the spitters. Stop shooting the nests. That's better. Probably means I don't need a turret, the uh, plasma turret up here anymore, but. Part of me likes the, kind of likes the idea of having a few of them scattered around the edge of the base as a bit of an extra le level of defence. They might be a bit overkill for somewhere where, where we're not getting regular constant attacks. I suppose that's the, that's the, um, sort of the dilemma with Factorio, is if you're getting just occasional biters turning up, then all you need is a few machine gun turrets. If you're getting massive quantities of attacks, you either can't deal with them, or if you can deal with them, then you should probably go off and actually defeat the nest that they're coming from, because having constant attacks on an area of your wall is really, really expensive in resources, because the turrets just keep getting through ammunition. Even with the, the even when you start using energy weapons, it's still more electricity that's being used, and that means, well, probably coal in most cases. Because generally, it's it's a load of extra expense that you can probably be better off without if you can possibly get out there and take out the biters. And all those turrets I've left up there are a bit of an expense as well, of course. These ones don't seem to be attacking very much. We've got, we've got, mm, no, yeah, no kills, no kills, no kills, one kill. So, yeah, the biters seem to be surprisingly peaceful at the moment. Um, I know last time I said that they, they attacked right at the beginning of the next episode, but yeah, it's a risk I'm prepared to take. Now, this lot down here have been pestering me for quite a while. I think I should probably get rid of them because they just. They seem to be the source of most of the attacks on my base at the moment. At the very least, I should leave a plasma turret down here. <laughs> for that, for the one, the sneaky ones like that who I hadn't noticed. Let's get some of this stuff. And this will either increase or decrease the amount of damage my um, <laughs> walls are taking. It'll probably decrease it because the biters won't be able to get as close, but it might increase it if the um, plasma turret accidentally shoots the walls, which, to be honest, isn't entirely impossible. Or is it? Oh no, it's mostly out, rain, out of... The walls are mostly out of uh, too, too too close for it to shoot them, so that's not so bad. Yeah, having found a use for these, I'm starting to pick them up a lot more. <laughs> Run and hide. Yeah, let's leave them there, despite what I was saying earlier. I've got bigger fish to fry this episode. One of my concerns actually was how my power supply was getting on, given all of the stuff I've been building. But I had a look, and it's actually it's actually absolutely fine. Um, I seem to have I don't know. Let's have a look over the last ten hours. Okay, over the last ten hours, fifty hours. Yeah. I've gone up to, the absolute maximum I've got up to is 34 megawatts of production and 26 megawatts of consumption. I don't know how that adds up. They should always be matching, surely. Um, given that I don't have any accumulators. Oh well. Um, yeah, even when even when all the mines are going absolutely flat out and the mine and the miners are the bulk of the uh, power consumption. Even when they were going flat out, they were only pulling up to. Oh right, yeah. Those are those aren't totals. Those are per thing. So it's 26 megawatts from the miners plus another. Eight, eight or so from the um, from the radars. That's interesting. The radar. Oh no. It's... Anyway, yeah. So basically, long story short, I seem to have I seem to have plenty of power at the moment, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see how that's getting on. It so so. What what are these flashy things over there? I don't have power. That's okay. They don't have power because I'm pulling everything up. Maybe. Right here we see the um, the problem with this sort of thing. It's very very limited by how much how many bots it can charge at any one time. Um which is oh no, it's limited by power. Fail. I need to I need to get better at keeping this charged, to be honest. Now these are yeah, just about managing to charge back up again. So now all the bots are starting to work again. Okay. Let's leave that at it for now. Let's take a couple of packs of actually I don't even need that. 
Let's tidy up this lead, no, tin belt for now. I don't know what this belt is, but it's not doing anything. Pick it up as well. <laughs> oh, this is lead. Right, okay, that's why there's a basically unused belt coming down. That makes sense. Hang on. I got carried away. Picked up too many. That must be... Yes, that one's wood. Okay, I do need that one. No, that way. I do need that one. It's just not getting any at the moment for reasons. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is turn that round like that. So it's now got the um, the tin being fed in from the opposite direction. Because now that I'm producing tin at the bottom of the base rather than the top of the base, I need it to be... I need. I just need everything to be travelling in the opposite direction to carry the tin up. <laughs> and this is the problem with the um, the old style of bus I was doing where I used the grey underground belts to get, to get across it. Every time I come to one of these places where something crosses over the bus, I need to faff around with rotating the underground belts. To be honest, down here is much better. Here we go, this is the interesting bit. I need to take that, that, and put that there, and that there. Now we have the tin merrily going both ways from these, um, from this, what do we call this, casting machine, casting machines. They'll happily, they'll pump the tin out, it'll travel up there. But let's go with it, because I need my construction vehicle pack. Hopefully it's finished by now. Because a bus can go in either direction, there's no reason it all, ha all the, all the um, things on it need to go the same way. So at some point, when you realise that you're actually um, producing things more effectively somewhere to further down the bus, there's no reason why you can't just then pipe them back up it to um, to go in, in, in with everything else. And here we go, so as you see it's going off here and up here. It's, it's uh, yeah, feeding all of the earlier machines as well. Great. Now at this point I don't have any wood production because I've un accidentally unplugged everything. Um, why my generators don't have big power poles in that, them, I'm not quite sure. That seems like a major accident. Uh, oh, right. Um, okay. I hadn't thought of that. Let's help a bit. Put that there. Do that, that, that. There we go. That's nice and quick. Right. That was unfortunate. I hadn't, yeah, as I say, I just hadn't thought of that. All of this nonsense. And this one as well. And this gives me some extra space to expand my um, power generation if I need to as well. All, oh, that was yeah. Oh, I don't know. I should probably get rid of that as well, and all of that. Yeah, all of all of this space is available if I need it. In fact, all of this is as well. I'm not using any of this stuff. Maybe as my next um, between episodes tidy up, I'll get rid of some of this as well. Don't want to get rid of the yellow science production, but I can get rid of all of these um, furnaces up here. This crusher, this belt goes all the way up there. I've basically, all this ammunition and belt construction here as well. That's all completely outdated now. Look how tidy this is. <laughs> I've taken almost all the junk out of it. Um, however, I do now have an awful lot of junk in here. And a <laughs> ridiculous amount of silicon. Uh, maybe I should do something about this. And I probably will. It's just not right now. Okay, so that's... Um, I, let's see, have, let's have a look at the list. I've, I've checked power, so that I don't, need, I don't need to worry about that at the moment. I've moved loads of stuff out of the warehouse into the combat vehicle. I've got lead ingots written on here, and I can't remember why I wanted lead ingots or what I needed to do with them. Was I using them up faster than I was generating them? Oh no, I remember what it was. Yes, here was the problem. It was, I'm not producing lead ingots because I'm not getting rid of this sulphur dioxide. So I need to either vent this or turn it into, um, into sulfuric acid or something, and then try and find something to do with sulfuric acid. <laughs> yeah, so that needs to be done. Wood needs to be done. Tin production? Uh, tin production I think is sorted now. Uh, I've got yeah, as you saw how quickly that belt filled up when they're going north. I think there's plenty of tin production going on down here. There's no shortage of it being pulled through here. That warehouse, yeah, there's, yeah, that's that, that's that's all fine. Tin production seems to be well under control. Cross that off. So it's three things now: blue science, wood, and lead ingots. I'm, I've cut off the wood. Oh no, I haven't. I haven't cut off the wood supply. Wood's currently working. Lead isn't, which makes me think I should probably go over and do the lead first. Even if I just whack in a uh, Ujima what's it? Flare stack. That's better than nothing. Ideally I want to I want to start making sulfuric acid. But I want to make it from sulfur dioxide. Oh purified water, okay. In fact that's something I was going to be doing over Yeah, I didn't see any purified water. Am I making purified water anywhere? Yes, here. Okay, so I pull my purified Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to pull the purified water up from here, over here somehow. Better idea, let's pull it over this way and then up. And then I can use that to make sulfuric acid. Oh, missed that one. And you know what else I'm going to do while I'm here? I'm going to take out these cliffs. I've been dodging them all game. That is getting ridiculous. Now that I can, 
I'm gonna. There we go. And probably these ones as well. Excellent. In the previous episode, I uh, dumped these two things here because I didn't have any inventory space and they were damaged. I thought, I oh, know, I'll leave them there. And I'll come back round later when I've got the construction vehicle and some bots will repair them for me. And, what do you know? Came true. Ah, yes, this is where the water's coming from. What? Uh, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I, I don't know how to feel about that. I wasn't really planning to build those. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Right, give me some underground pipes. I wish there was a search function on this. I must have some underground pipes, surely. There's some. It's only 42, though. I'm not convinced it's going to be enough. Purified water. <laughs> what I need is a way to train the uh, construction vehicle to just follow me around. Uh, without running things over, of course. That way I could go, oh, I've run out of... And it would go, oh, here's some more. And I'd go, oh, thank you very much. But no, that'd be far too easy. And I'd get rid of it to deal with these... Get it, get it to deal with these trees for me as well. Now, down there, I see it. Normal pipes I definitely have. I remember seeing them. There's a few. Should be enough. Chemical plants, on the other hand, I probably don't have. And that's probably what I'm going to need to do this. So let's bring the uh, construction vehicle in. There's so many trees in the way. There we go. Right. Let's just check that to be um, on the safe side. Sulfur dioxide gas, purified water, sulfuric acid, and a chemical plant. Simple. If I can find the chemical plant. Should have two. Let's have two. I want you to make sulfuric acid. That one. Can't put them there. <laughs> Need to put them a little bit further out because they're in the way of the uh, this. The water supply is going to actually be feeding them. There we go. Let's try that again. Sulfuric acid. And hopefully I've got some, yes, yeah, storage tanks. Like now this is going to buy me some time. What's that railway line for? I don't remember. Yeah, this is going to at least, at the very least, it's going to buy me some time to um, for the where, during which time the uh, lead production is going to work quite happily. And then once it all fills up, I can always find something else to do with it, I suppose. Uh, well, um, well, I must have a power over here somewhere. There we go. Right, that's now going to pull out all of that sulfur, nasty sulfur dioxide, and turn it into delicious sulfuric acid. And that'll make sure there's a buffer there as well. So now, hopefully, this will kick back into gear again. What's going on here? Oh, right, okay, yes, I remember. I wanted to use up all the lead out of here first before I started using anything else, before I started producing it from here. That makes sense. Is there any lead ore in here? Because I can get rid of it if there is. I found where it goes. Oh, that's coal. Not very much. Okay, I mean, that is being used as fast as it's coming out of here, but that's not very quick. Never mind. I think this is probably going to back up fairly soon. I don't think I'm using particularly large quantities of it. Maybe I'm wrong. Where does it even go? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, there is a... F hmm. Quite a lot of it getting used, should we say. And it is backing up now, but that's probably because the red circuit thing here is backed up completely. And as soon as I start making blue science, that's going to just evaporate. Oh well, never mind. Right. Lead ingots production. Sorted. Done. Blue science. Yeah, I've been wanting to do this for ages. It's been sort of that thing that's been been there where I've been looking at research and going, yes, I really want this thing. Oh, it needs blue science. Okay, I guess I won't be doing that then. Because blue science, as we've discovered, requires lots of very, very simple things. And then also red circuit boards. And red circuit boards were, they were a challenge. I mean, that's the whole point of the game. They were a fun challenge. Oh, shh. Sh don't run those things over. <laughs> I kind of needed... I've got some iron ore that I don't know what to do with. Let's get rid of that and do it there. In fact, what other junk have I got in here that I might be able to throw into something? Get rid of some copper into a... There's a machine that makes copper wire somewhere. There it is. And what else? Tin ore. No, I'm not going to be able to get rid of that around here. Or bobmonium ore. That would need to be much further north. Silicon ore. Get rid of a bit of that. It goes in there, I think. <laughs> but not in large enough quantities to make much of a difference. Okay, in my rebellious way, I'm going to put... Blue science construction on the other side of the bus, I think, because I suspect I'm going to want to expand this red science production at some point. So, in order to leave lots of space for that, I'm going to continue this downwards like this. One of these is definitely going to get turned round, and probably this one, and turn and is going to take the blue science back up north. But I don't see a problem with that. Oh, actually, I could use the other side of this red belt, red, this this one here, <laughs> feed them in over there. That makes a nice sort of symmetry, I guess. Right, let's have a quick think about this. Why am I looking at that one? Yeah, I want to make science, and it's not called blue science, it's called chemical science. 
So I need sulfur, which is not on the bus. So I need to put sulfur on the bus. I need to make engines, which is easy. I need electronic circuit boards. I need sodium hydroxide, which is not that one. That one over there. Okay. And I need to hope that the red circuit board creation is producing enough sodium hydroxide that I can, um, th the two will match, match up and I'll have enough sodium hydroxide coming out for, to make all the science packs. Okay, so the sulfur, the circuit boards and the sodium hydroxide are all going to come straight off the bus. So they're really easy. The only remotely complicated thing in here is the engines, therefore. So I need every two chemical science packs take 18 seconds in one of these machines and they take two engine units. So every, and and I'm, I usually say I want to build one science pack per construction second. But if I have a look at so let's look in here actually instead. Chemical science packs it's 14. Okay, so I need to make 14 machines making those. Each of those takes no, I need seven because I make two two at a time. So I need seven of those, but each but I need 14 engines per second. No, what? I can't get my head around this. <laughs> two of these per second, two, so I need two engines per second and seven chemical science things, machines. So to, to get two engines per second, they take 10 seconds each. So I need 20 of those machines, 20 machines producing engines. Bloody hell. Okay, let's start with that. I don't have enough of these. Let's have two banks of 10 and they'll feed off the same belt in the middle. That, or they'll share a belt in the middle and maybe they'll have two on the outside as well. And that's going to require a buttload of pipes and gears and, um, and steel as well, but that's a raw ingredient, that's not a problem. Okay, so gears, I need one gear a second, two pipes a second. That's not too bad. Okay, so I only need one of it, one machine to making each of those. Let's just shove them on the beginning of the row then. We have an iron belt coming in here. Oh, let's actually miss this side of it. So that, 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 that. You can make gears, you can make pipes. And that should be it. Unless I've completely screwed up my numbers, that should be fine. I mean, no guarantee. Um, numbers are surprisingly difficult, <laughs> even though I'm supposed to be good at them. He's also going to need to input from a steel belt up the outside and output long. So I have a belt of steel coming in here and here. I'm out of belts. It's crazy. I mean, it's not like I've been getting through a lot of them or anything. Oh, how's my undergrounds and splitters? Splitters is 50 pack there. There's lots of undergrounds there. I say lots, there's not that many. Take some more. I'm probably going to need more construction machines as well. But I haven't got those down here. That's the pity. Eh, let's have too many. No harm in that. There, that's all the raw resources required for the engines. Oh, and I need these belts to take the engines away. Uh, I don't need them to be that long though. And then it was, what, seven more machines to do the actual building of the science packs. Now, I don't have enough of that. Um, there's a car in here. There's trains. There's a car. Let's go and get some more construction machines. Guns, drills, diggers, belts. Look. Must be south of the circuit, surely. No. No, no, that's the Mark 1 construction machines. I don't want those. That's something else I can probably should rip up. It's just out of date now. It wasn't this far south, was it? Ooh, what's that? Nope, that's radars. There's so many things I'm building and I just can't remember where. I, I should start putting it on a map. There's pipes. Or was it on the end of here? Here we go, this is where it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. In fact, let's do that. So, here be assembly machines. My god, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, them. Here be inserters. At least up to red. This might work. Um, I'm not sure I trust myself to be to look quite often enough. So that's bots um, to look quite often enough at these things. But it might at least mean I can find things a little bit more often. Or as long as I remember to look at the um, the map, of course. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Another old belt factory that I should probably rip up. <laughs> that's a much higher resolution icon than any of the other ones. <laughs> okay. I might be getting a little bit carried away, I think, but. Uh, you know, it's nice to have everything labelled, be able to tell where things are. Mm, I think that's probably sufficient. Oh, one more down here, actually. What? Oh, I need more belts again as well. Didn't I just get more belts? Have I got through them all already? Yeesh. Ah, stop it. 300. That might last me a few minutes. Right. So I need the sodium hydroxide from over there, and I need the red circuits from right next to it. So I can... 
pull up a big chunk of this just to allow me to think that and then immediately that goes underground that there noise <laughs> but yeah there's clearly not going to be enough sodium hydroxide being produced that's a shame maybe i can make up for it by putting a car in there no that's a long handle um, yeah sure nine i know i said seven but I don't think having too many of these is a bad thing. And I reckon what I was going to do with these, a little stretch of underground here maybe. There! And now as long as I never want to have red belts going, red circuits going upwards, which I don't expect to, that should just work. Have I got big power poles running down the bus? I have not as a mistake. Put that one there. <sighs> I'm out of... Bread and yeah. <laughs> Welcome to episode 30 of Lawrence drives up and down his base forgetting things all the time and just assuming it's all in the massive great construction machine. This time I've forgotten inserters. I've just run out, basically run out completely. I don't have enough to finish that system off and I've just driven straight past them as well. <sighs> More 200 will do me for a build maybe. Sulfur. Damn it, I knew I forgot something. Actually, I didn't know I'd forgotten something. I'd completely forgotten I'd forgotten something. Let's go and get some sulphur. Mm. Sulphur was going to be the second one of these unloading stations, wasn't it? So you can be colour sulphur yellow so there, and sulphur's a dirty yellow like Ugh. Something like that. And because it's up to me, I'm going to spell sulphur properly. Why can't it get there? It can get to most of the stations, but not to this one. It's not full anyway, but why can't it get there? What's the problem with that route? The plastic train was okay getting to here. Sulphur train said it was okay getting to anywhere else, except it must be a... Ah, there we go, that's a problem. <laughs> Simple. Ish. You can be that dirty yellow colour as well, just because I like to keep things colour-coded for my convenience. <laughs> Even the bright yellow is still pretty dirty. Maybe that's down to the Factorio sort of diesel punk aesthetic. Why are you not unloading? <sighs> Words fail me. And I'm going to run out of these belts as well, because I haven't got the construction vehicle with me because I, I don't know, stupid or short-sighted. Oh, uh, yeah, just like that. <sighs> uh, there we go. This does kind of feel like it's been an entire episode of Lawrence doesn't have the stuff he needs to do whatever he's trying to do. <laughs> Let's go and finish those boxes off. Now we can race the sulphur back down, see if I can get there first. I think I probably can because the belts aren't that quick. Depends if we get lost, I suppose. Here we go. No, you're long-handled. Stop being long. <laughs> no, here's the sulphur already. <laughs> uh, no, that's not going to work. That will, though. <laughs> Sometimes the spaghetti nonsense I build in this game it shocks and astounds even me. Right, there we go. There's the sulphur I was desperately waiting for. Sodium hydroxide's a problem, though. And the fact the belt's going the wrong way. Okay, how do you make sodium hydroxide? Okay, you... Oh, this is what I'm doing over there, splitting uh, splitting saline water. But then I'm then just recombining it on the other side. And apparently I'm not doing enough of it. Okay. Or I can get some sodium from somewhere. I don't know where I get that from at the moment. And I haven't got the tech for it yet. Oh, nope, nope, and <laughs> nope. So it is this one then. I just need to make a lot more... Or vent these off, I suppose. And I don't really. Want to... yeah. Right. So there's not a lot to do with it, unless there's something else I can fun I can do with hydrogen chloride gas. I can make hydrochloric acid. That sounds fun. That's the ferric chloride solution I'm I'm using for the for the red circuits. Yeah, I'm going to say no to that for the time being. I don't see anything particularly useful to do with those gases. And I could whack in another one on the other side that just takes in the chlorine and vents it. it seems like a bit of a waste. Chlorine seems like one of those things that's eventually going to be useful, but I know I'm just going to end up stockpiling it and going, I don't know what to do with this. It's not a flare stack. Well, we're making a bit more of this now. Not exactly quickly, so you're slow. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem to have mattered down here yet. I've got full tank, gradually filling tank, completely backed up belt down here. Um, okay... Maybe as I start using red circuits a bit more in, in other things, like, I don't know, next generation miners and trains and goodness knows what else is, then it'll, it'll um, pull through a bit more of those resources in the making of the red, uh, red circuits and it won't seem quite so silly. But at the moment, yeah. <laughs> oh well. 
I think the next thing to do is to turn this belt around, run it back up to the science factories up top. That's going to be quite a long run. Oh, no. I was going to say, at least I'm not going to run out of belts, but actually, <laughs> I'm running an entirely new belt for most of this. I thought I was just going to be hopping onto one that was just going in the opposite direction. But no, it seems not. Oh, how am I going to get through? What if I put it on the other side of the belt somehow, somewhere? Let's go through here. Oh, no. Where are the science... Uh, the, no, the military science must be up there somewhere. Oh, I've broken the belt rules. My bus is the wrong size. There's the grave science. If I can get it onto that belt, then it can just ride with it straight into the science labs. And I'll be done. That's probably best done through here. Jeez, who designed this place? Right, let's make sure that's happy. Because I can't guarantee I haven't done something stupid like, like that. Where are the yellows? Where are the yellows? Uh, balls. <laughs> Words fail me. Um, yeah, that's crap. <laughs> I had a feeling I was going to have an issue like that, but... Uh, dear. <laughs> Who let me design a base? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, obviously I... No, don't do... What? No, no, no. Just put that. <laughs> And if we're being honest, the sensible thing here would probably have been to keep the, the grey and the blue on the same belt round here. But maybe I'll do that. Let's be sensible for once. Atone for past sins or something. Where are we even going with this? Uh, yeah, that's the right way around. <laughs> well, no, don't take the reds. I don't want them. I don't really want the greys. I feel a sort of obligation to tidy them up. Okay, nearly there, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, that's got like 175 grey science flasks in there now. Let's have a think. What do I want to what do I want to research now? I've got all this fun stuff. There was some interesting military stuff I was seeing. Um like a I don't know, a laser rifle or a vehicle plasma cannon, that'd be quite nice. What do I need to build that? Those are all things I have. Let's find out about vehicle plasma cannons, because that looks awesome. I might even be able to fit them into my um construction vehicle for emergency defence. Oops, forgot about that. <laughs> so, I needed a lot more of that sodium hydroxide stuff. Oh, apparently I do need more tin being produced. This is clearly not sufficient for something. Or is this now, or is this still catching up? Uh, I think it's currently catching up, so that's probably alright. Okay, well... That, to be honest, is, is an episode. I've um, set up my blue science. It is working. However, it's a bit rate limited by the sodium hydroxide that I just don't have very much of. So I'm going to call it an episode there. A little bit more of a tweak and a tidy up, I think, um, between episodes. And I'll also have a look into LTN for a, for a future episode. I've not done a huge amount today. We've got an extra turret up here and some um, playing havoc with these biters. We've got obviously the blue so blue science being produced down here, which I'm quite pleased with, and we've got sulfuric acid being produced over here, but not actually doing anything with it. So that's going to be a problem in a in a few episodes' time. And of course, I've put these icons in along here to help me find things in the future, because as we all know, I'm a bit rubbish at that. However, yes, blue science. That's today's victory. Hooray, blue science! Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you.